Today we're taking a look at the 5 to 1 HDMI switcher. Now this takes um, any five devices with an HDMI port, allows you to plug them into one HDMI um, on a TV, which is very helpful when a lot of basic TVs come with three HDMI plugs, sometimes two. If you have a DVD player, a game system, a streaming player, whatever, you can quickly fill that up. And a device like this allows you to plug multiple devices into one HDMI port on your TV. So let's do a little unboxing here, kind of show you what comes with it. Now right off the bat, it's a metal case, which is nice. A lot of these are plastic. Definitely a very rugged design right off the bat, I feel like, um, which is great if you're looking to um, put this in any type of area where it may get damaged. Um, there are um, holes on the back here where you can mount this on the wall, put a couple of nails on your wall, and there you go, you can mount this there. So let's check this out. Right here is um, the fifth in. Kind of thought right off the bat that would be the out, but it's not. So you got four uh, plugs on the um, side here and one or on the back and one on the side, which is kind of nice if you plug in a big fat, um, let's say, Fire TV stick in there. Um, that way it can go in there and not block the other ports on this. It also has a HDMI out here from here to your TV. So Roku, DVD player, um, the list goes on. If you still have a cable box, that and so on. So, and then in the front you can switch with the plug here. Have a USB in, five volt. Uh, out, it looks like for power, so you can actually plug a sti uh, streaming stick on there, which is pretty nice. So you can put a Fire TV stick here, or a Roku stick, and plug it in here for power. On the side here is the power um, plug. Let's kind of keep going, see what else it comes with. Um, you got the remote, so you can control this. Um, there you go. Yep, you can control this from the remote to switch. You can um, select one through five on it. Line of sight, you need to be able to see the device for this to work. And lastly, you have the plug. Not a lot to say about this. It's a pretty standard little plug. Um, eyeballing that, maybe a five, six foot cable. I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm literally just eyeballing that. And lastly, you do have an instruction manual. Not really a lot to say. Um, has uh, four easy steps to setting this up. On the back it has a basic diagram. So pretty simple here. There's not a lot to say about this. My first impression though is good solid metal quality. You know the remote's very basic, but you really don't need much more than this for that. I bet with many universal remotes you can probably program this um, to control that and power supply. That's all it comes with it. And that's all you really need. So let me go test this out, come back and let you know my impressions of it. Impressions of it. So I've been playing around with it for a little while now and a few things right off the bat. It does have a smart detection feature. So for example, if you have a PlayStation, you turn on your PlayStation, it will detect that it has a fresh signal and automatically switch to that source. Um, the same goes with many other ones. It doesn't work so well with like a Roku or Fire TV because they're always on. Even when the screen goes blank, they'll be on. So it doesn't detect that as well, but DVD players, PlayStation's the list go on and on, Xbox One, it will auto detect that. Of course you can do the manual switching. Overall, very responsive switching, probably faster than my LG TVs I use for testing purposes. So I would have to say well made, well worth the money for um, if you struggle to have enough HDMI ports on your TV, this is probably a device you should check out. So two thumbs up, quick switching. The remote is responsive, it's pretty basic though. Um, not exactly the most attractive, but it gets the job done. I am impressed though with the auto detect on it. It does a good job of actually recognizing when most devices are plugged in. And again, last caveat, devices like a Roku and a Fire TV, the list goes on, never really turn off. So it doesn't do a very good job of detecting when you hit the, um, the button to wake up the, room, the Roku because it's always sending some type of signal through the HDMI cable. Questions, comments, let me know if this helped you. Please give me a thumbs up. It really does help us. I'll link to it in the show notes on the bottom of YouTube and over at courtcarsnews.com on Amazon. And we appreciate your support. And please subscribe if you haven't for more court kind tips, tricks, and how-to videos. Yeah.